I've been asked many times, how do we soundproof and how soundproof can we get it? How do we, how do we get <laughs> STC 80, you know, and uh, uh, let's hear, let's hear I, we've discussed this before, but I, I want you to tell everybody here's the, 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 just the bare facts. This is reality. <laughs> it's, it's, it's sheer mess. That's all it is. There is no other answer. You, you can't, isolate yourself by using uh, uh, hard, non-hardening materials. You uh, you know, you can't use uh, rubber. You can't use any of these things. It's sheer mass. All you're going to do with these other things is cause you to have a thicker wall. Okay. If you, if you want uh, the best option you have is to have a, a layered wall on either side of two separate uh, studded walls with a gap in between. The gap in between will help determine how high the STC is. So if you think you can build it with a one inch wall, keep in mind that will restrict what your maximum is because you can hang three sheets on each side or four sheets on either side. There's still a limit at which that space will allow things. So if you want a STC uh, 80 wall, you're going to have to have a thick wall no matter what you do. Okay. Again, uh, what you want to do is if you want to put on layers of, of, of sheetrock, you do a layer of sheetrock and then a layer of concrete board, which has a different density and a different impedance. You want to have varying impedances among heavy duty stuff. So like in our room, you know, what we have is, is, is five to six layers of alternating uh, sheetrock and concrete. Okay, and that's on top of a 12-inch stud, which is on top of six more or eight more layers on the other side, or, you know, five feet of concrete. And then having to make sure that outside, your background noise is only 19 or 20 dB, okay? STC-80 is virtually impossible to get, okay? Uh, because you can figure you can get a 62. Uh, I'm going to treat you to one bit of knowledge. Uh, you can build double stud walls. That's what most people have done for years. Okay. Even if you use a two by four on each side, that means that you have three and a half plus three and a half, that's seven inches. Okay. Plus you leave an inch in between. Okay. So that means you have eight inches of studs and construction. Then you put on another uh, inch and a half three inches, four and a half inches of sheetrock or material on one side and four and a half inches on the other side, let's say. Okay, that's another nine inches on top of the original uh, uh, seven inches. Okay, this means you've got a 16 inch thick wall. Okay, that will give you an estimated uh, STC of around 67, 68. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe you might get lucky at hit 70, depending upon what's outside. But the facts are, that's what it takes to get to a 70. So you can figure that if you have a, a separated wall, now, again, there are studs out there that I would call Sessler studs are made by, um, they're called Soundgarden, what they're officially called. And they're made by a company called Scafco or Marino, where in the United States. And they will give you the equivalent to a double studded wall, but with only a very small space in between because they're isolated from each other completely and utterly. There is nothing contacting. So uh, one set of six inch studs, okay, in this case, plus an uh, inch and a quarter on each side, which is double layer on each side, will give you a 62. Okay. If you want to get higher, you're going to have to double that. So that means you got two layers. That means you got to put another two layers on each side. That will give you a 65. If you want to double that, yeah, not even double that, if you're going to go three more dB, it's going to require doubling that. So it could be eight layers to get to a 68 yeah. on each side. Yeah. So <laughs> it, it's, you know, the only option then is to have a double wall that's 20, 30 inches thick. Now we have tested a wall that is an STC 72 to 73, but it required, um, 18-inch uh, studs on each side, plus 36 inches of air in between, plus concrete about a foot thick on each side. 
Okay. So, and, and fuzz in between. Uh, you know, and this was used in a theater in order to isolate theaters for low frequencies, especially when they when they have the movies with all the thump, 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 thump and stuff like that. That's what it was for. So I think getting to an STC-80 is a dream in most cases. Yeah. Okay. Now we can measure up to, in our laboratory up to an STC-72. And that's really about it. Okay. And that's because... Even our rooms, for as isolated as they are, and they are floating inside of a floating inside of a floating inside of a floating inside of a floating building, five floating buildings, and we still have flanking limits at around seventy-two to seventy-four. Wow. Okay, that means that's the best we can measure. Now, it doesn't mean we can't measure higher at certain frequencies, but the overall limit is that. So, at, at higher frequencies, like you know, seven or eight K. Uh, we can measure all the way out to almost 80 or 90. Yeah. Okay. And at low ends, we can go all, we can measure all the way out to 40 or 50, which is unheard of in the laboratory setting. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the time, you're lucky if you can get three or four or five. Okay. So, uh, but we are that isolated. But if you're trying to build a lab, uh, build a studio, my suggestion is be happy if you can get a, a background noise level of around 20. 15 to 20. If you can get 15 to 20 inside, you're doing really, really good 